welcome back to the channel guys i'm here to review a new film from michael bay starring yaya abdul the second and jake gyllenhaal called ambulance this film here is basically about a heist that has gone terribly wrong in the beginning of the film we've got yaya he's basically a war veteran he's down on his luck he needs some money he's working all the shifts in the and trying to get as much money as he can for his missus because his missus needs an operation so he decides to give, go you know what let me go see my brother see if he can lend me some money goes and sees his brother which is Jake Gyllenhaal and he's like oh you know what I need some money this is how much do you have it he's like no but you could do this job for me if you do this job you'll pay everything that you need and more in doing so he ends up basically in a heist for robbing a bank robs a bank madness from one thing to another but he robs a bank he robs a bank with his brother everybody dies they are the only two survivors running around la trying to survive in an ambulance truck hence the title ambulance you know the heist that gone went wrong this is the heist that went wrong so we get the we get basically in the film from one thing to the next where and how everybody's going to survive and will they survive and the only sole reason was he went to go see his brother for help he got the money he got the money in the wrong way and now he just needs to get home they both need to get home and so we see the trials and tribulations of how to get home how they're going to keep people alive how they're going to keep themselves alive you got the cops chasing after them. They were, again, like I said, rolling around LA. It's an absolute car wreck of a film. But it has got all the Michael Bay isms like the car chases, like the explosions, like the lens flares, like the only one annoying thing certain shots, drone shot type of shots, like he'll go from up. He'll go from down, it'll be like circling around, make you feel like you're on a roller coaster of a ride, that type of feeling. Which could be good in some cases and bad in others, but it's uh, basically a bank heist film gone wrong. Again, if you like Michael Bay, you'll really like this film. Again, like I said, it's got his isms in there, all the stuff that he does in these films. It's even crazy that when you're watching a film as well, he makes reference of his films like Bad Boys, like The Rock. So it's like if you're a fan of Michael Bay and you've been following him for ages, you're going to pick up on those those little bits, tidbits right there. You can be like, oh, yeah, I remember that film. Or, oh, this is, that's a Michael Bay film, right? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a situation like that. So as a whole, it's a good film. There are crazy action scenes. Like, like you're thinking, like, how did... How was that done? Because Michael Bay, he likes to do things practically. So when you're seeing certain situations in the film, you're like, oh, wow, that was a lot. Or, wow, how did they do that? Like, all close with the camera and everything. You do see you are there in the action. It's, it, it does get intense in moments. The arguing with Jake Gyllenhaal and Yaya is really good. Very believable that they're brothers, or at least very much passionate and best friends. So, as those two acting against each other, really good. I, I really did enjoy it. I, I wasn't expecting a lot, from, lot from it. To be fair, I thought it was going to just be a standard action feel and done. But I really, really enjoyed it. The immense story that was in it. Story's more shallow than the action, but it was a good film. I definitely do recommend it. I call it an, an enjoyable film. It's, it's not going to be a film that you'll forget, but it's, it was enjoyable. It was pleasant. It wasn't too harsh, it wasn't too heavy, it was nice standard popcorn flick for me personally. But I do recommend to go and watch it, have your own opinion, come back, comment down below, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And um, I'll see you on the next review guys. Later.